While on a straight road, car X and car Y are traveling at different constant rates. If car X is now one mile ahead of car Y, how many minutes from now will car X be two miles ahead of car Y? Well, in order to answer this question, we'd either need to know the individual speeds of the cars, or at least we'd have to know how fast they are moving apart from each other, the relative speeds. So statement number one tells us that car X is traveling at 50 miles per hour and car Y is traveling at 40 miles per hour. Well, perfect. If we know both speeds, then we can figure out exactly how fast one car is going to be going faster than the other, how, far they're, how fast they're going to be moving apart, all that stuff. So if we know both speeds, we have abundant information, more than sufficient to answer the question. Now forget about statement number one, statement number two. Statement number two tells us three minutes ago, car X was half a mile ahead of car Y. So minus three minutes, let's say, they had a distance of half a mile. And then at time equals zero, they have a distance of a mile. And so what this tells us is the relative speed, how fast they're moving relative to each other. In other words, what's happening is they're gaining half a mile every three minutes or, or gaining a mile every six minutes. That's the distance between the two cars. And so again, knowing this allows us to figure out when there's going to be two miles between the two cars. So this statement is also completely sufficient. Statement number one sufficient, statement number two sufficient, answer choice D.